Any given workday for the last 19 years, you might find Greg Peck on the road inspecting billboards for TDOT. I work for uh, Highway Beautification. But his almost two decades of service to the state pales in comparison to his service to this country. 42 years, six months, and 25 days. East Tennessee native Greg Peck is the longest-serving enlisted man still in uniform in the Tennessee National Guard. Went to basic in Fort Knox, Kentucky. Then I went to Germany in 1970. I got in Vietnam on February 16th, 1971. Just turned 18. He served for more than one year fighting in these far-flung jungles. I just really don't remember being much scared because... You know, you're young, you don't really understand it. You just do what you got to do and go on. Go on, he did. He served in posts stateside, then overseas, and even got out of the Army. But after a short four-and-a-half-month break in 1980, Greg Peck jumped back into service with the Tennessee Army National Guard. I've been in action 278 for 32 years. In that time, this Vietnam veteran also served two combat tours in Iraq, and it was the subtle differences between those wars, some 30 years apart, that left the biggest impression on this soldier. You know, like Vietnam, I might get a letter, it might be a month or two old. And in Iraq, we had, you know, the TV and uh, call home every night if you wanted to. And t these young soldiers today just don't know what it's like to you know, not have a cell phone. Or, you normally never stayed out, outside the wire overnight. In Vietnam, you'd go out, you didn't, I don't know when you was coming back. You might be out there for 10 days, you might be out there for months, so that was a difference. The similarity both wars share, Peck says, is the personal toll, the pain of loss. Yeah, I think losing the people and the ones that was, you know, wounded and still got you know, visual scars is probably the worst. If there's anything worse than that, I don't know what it would be. You know, they say, well, 12 people died in Iraq today. Well, they don't see all the chaos. You know, those other soldiers that's, you know, breaking down and you're trying to comfort them and, and they don't see all that. They don't see all the hurt and the pain. They just see the numbers. And I still have a lot of problems with even back in Vietnam, believe it or not, you know, that's 41 years ago. At, sometimes you feel guilty. Uh, you know, here I've been through all of them and, you know, not a scratch. And in his more than 42 years of military service, Greg Peck guesses he was away from his family of five children and now seven grandchildren for close to 12 years. It, it's a sacrifice for both of us, but it's well worth it because it means so much to him. <laughs> At his retirement party, this combat veteran, who rose to the highest rank possible for an enlisted soldier, Command Sergeant Major Peck, bid farewell to his other family, dressed in fatigues. Great guy, uh, and uh, has always tried to do the right thing. February 2013. A self-described Tennessee boy from Oliver Springs who joined the Army in 1970 and is now about to celebrate his 60th birthday receives this final salute honoring his historic four decades of service.